43rd version of GNOME is finally here and this time it is different. GNOME Shell's unified menu was introduced back in GNOME 3 but it has not changed dramatically until now. First comes Quick Toggles. The new Quick Toggles status bar makes it easier to turn on or off common settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and power mode as well as options that were not previously included in the status menu like dark mode. You no longer need to unfurl a sub menu and click on the text label like it was in the previous version of GNOME. Just click on the toggle itself and it will be done. It is not just limited to that but now it is way more useful. When different audio output or input devices are connected, the volume slider in the quick toggle box will show an icon to the right. Clicking on that opens a sub menu to select a preferred audio device. Yup, you no longer need to install a sound switcher GNOME extension, dive into settings to sound panel to do this. It is built in. Next is updated core apps, starting with Nautilus. Look how easy it is to switch to dark mode now. Okay, now comparing side by side with GNOME 42, now we can select multiple files in Nautilus by dragging in list mode. There is a new animation for marking the files as important or favorites. The selection style has been updated to make it look a little more modern than the previous version. The properties page has a redesign also. Now across much of the apps, the redesign is there consistently, but many of the apps don't have that redesign. The similar change has been found in the about page of the application, which is also not reflected in many of the apps. Uh, I will be talking about that later. Now the credits part in the about page has also been updated to a new look with sleek animations. Another feature is the new compact mode in Nautilus. When used at smaller size, Nautilus just contracts the sidebar into an expandable menu, making the files app look very clean. Also, the animations feel much smoother inside the application, which is a good improvement in GNOME 43. The enabling of executability is now simpler from the properties window on this version. It can be enabled directly from here. You can also mark the file to be favorite from the properties window itself. The permissions page also has a similar new look, which looks much cleaner and better at the same time, using the space provided very efficiently and beautifully at the same time. The searching tools provided will come handy in GNOME 43. Now you can filter your search results according to the last modified starting from the day itself to a maximum of 5 years ago. Now there are a ton of file types according to which your files can be filtered again. Now entering others inside the file type category, you can go to an extensive list of all the extensions that are supported for searching and filtering your file. The tab design in GNOME 43 has also been changed. If you middle click on any directory, it will open up in a new tab and the design is changed to match the new very rounded design of GNOME 43. The map now uses GTK 4.0 or Libert Vita. Therefore, it looks much better than the previous version and looks more modern. For my case, I could not find any update in the about page of this application. It still uses the old design. The app also has switched to a new rendering library. So zooming into maps is much more robust using pinch and zoom technique. The calendar app has a new sidebar. This always on show panel gives a monthly overview and lists upcoming events. Resizing the calendar to a narrow width hides the main canvas to show just the sidebar, similar to what has been done with Nautilus. A brand new color palette has also been used which brings a subtle but refreshing change to the application. There is a new device security page which is aimed to provide information about security of your physical hardware, uh, its configuration and its firmware which is a handy ad addition but I have mixed feeling about this feature. Did I forget to mention that this page is inside the settings application? So yeah, that is there. Now next is web apps can also be now installed from the software store. So, so this is a new feature that has been added. The characters app now supports more emojis with more skin colors and support for more genders. The contacts app now allows you to import and export contacts as vCard which is also very handy but I don't know do you guys save contacts on your desktop or computer anyway it's a new feature that has been added but that is just the tip of the iceberg GNOME 43 includes many other small enhancement including the screen keyboard now shows suggestions as you type it also shows the control alt and tab keys when typing in the terminal 
Now the web screenshot feature has now made easier to use. It can be used in the web page context menu or triggered with the shift plus control plus S keyboard shortcut. Also in web, the style of the interface of elements in web pages has been updated to match modern GNOME applications. Some of the animations in the activities overview has been optimized so they now are much smoother. In software, application pages have an improved switcher for selecting the source and format. The dark UI style used by GTK4 apps has been polished so the appearance of bars and list is more harmonious. When connecting to GNOME with a remote desktop app using RDP, it is now possible to receive audio from the host. GNOME's range of alert sound has been updated and it also includes a default new alert sound which sounds much better than the previous versions of GNOME. Although there are so many new features, it still requires a bit of polish. I understand that it is a beta software and I should not be judging it but there are some simple things which can be looked after to make it better. Firstly, the recordings produced through GNOME's recorder due to some reason, they turn out to be corrupted. I don't know if it is the problem with Fedora or GNOME or I just got something that is it is the problem with the copy that I am having if that is the issue. but. You guys uh, should comment down below if you are facing the same problem. It is really annoying. So I was trying to record with the GNOME screen recorder and then everything was corrupted. Anyway, then next we have some of the inconsistencies that are still there. Like in GNOME 42, there was a gap of GTK 3 and 4 and it was uh, here it is covered up to some extent. The main issue is the inconsistent styling of the about pages which I have noticed and due to some reason the control alt T was not mapped for opening the terminal and it wasn't performing any function. Uh, I guess that is some default setting that should have been added from Fedora's side or from the GNOME de developers. I guess that should have been done or you can just or also just go and head over to the settings page from there create a new shortcut and create your own map for the shortcut for launching the GNOME terminal or the console that they have installed. Now another thing that I uh, have noticed is the security tab from settings now shows red dots for certain issues which the user has no control over. An ordinary user might be intimidated by such warnings. Uh, no doubt why Ubuntu is planning to turn this feature off in the next version of the release. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.